Rosh Hashanah, in a way, is a day of revelation. God reveals himself to us through the shofar. The shofar reminds us of the shofar that blew on Har Sinai, on Mount Sinai. It reminds us of the great shofar that's going to blow at the end of days. It reminds us of that initial blast of air that God inspirited into man when he created him. So not only do we remember Jewish history, we remember our connection. I've heard people say shofar gives them shivers. It resonates, it, get, it internalizes. The shofar is supposed to get inside of us. It's supposed to, to, to remind ourselves of, of our desire for God. And sometimes we find ourselves in our lives disconnected from ourselves, feeling just despair about the various commitments that we make and the various things that we do that seem to have no real relationship to who we are. And, and, and the call of the shofar is like that, that, that feeling of, of awe or anxiety or power that we feel in synagogue, that's just the reminder that there's something beneath all of that. The four names for Rosh Hashanah are Yom Adin, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Atzikaron, and Yom HaTrua. So Yom HaTrua, we realize that aspect of the holiday through blowing the shofar in synagogue. That it's a commandment in the Torah. Shofar serves a twofold purpose. On the one hand, it draws me close to God. On the other hand, it draws me close to myself. Of course, these two things have to happen at the same time. In order for me to come close to God, I need first to be in touch with myself. So those two things come together and shofar helps bring them together. San Rosh Hashanah, the God encourages us through this mitzvah of blowing the shofar to access that part of myself. It's, the, the sages say that, that speech went into exile when the people of Israel were in Egypt. At a time when you're enslaved, when you're feeling depressed, when you have no other, other, other means, you can't talk, you cry out. So the cry of the shofar in some sense parallels the cry that an individual feels. As Rosh Hashanah approaches and we anticipate hearing the voice of the shofar, perhaps we can also anticipate hearing our own inner voices.